What's up, y'all? B Dubs here for a anime Blu ray review of Elf and Lead on Blu ray. So, let's get started. B Dub, the anime master. 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 Dragon B -dub, Ball Z, the anime One piece. master. Here B -dub, we go, the anime Death master. Knows, nigga. Dragon B -dub, Ball Z, the anime One piece. master. Here B -dub, we go. Now, let's talk about the uh, Elf and Lee Blu-ray. Um, first thing I want to talk about is the packaging is pretty good, you know, for a Blu-ray release. Here's the back, and here's the front. You know what I'm saying? Pretty standard. And here are the uh, Blu-ray discs, this one and two. Pretty simple artwork, you know what I'm saying? Just make sure you guys can see that. But uh, the number one issue that has been going on, I mean, going around the web uh, for the past month or two, it's the audio quality for the Eng English dub of uh, Elf and Lee. Um, the audio issue is that, uh, well, first, of, first of, first off, excuse me, first off, the Blu-ray is encoded. Uh, the video is encoded as 1080p HD native, high definition, 16 by 9, and the audio is English DTS HD Master Audio 5.1. And the Japanese track is Japanese DTS HD Master Audio 5.1, uh, Region A only. Now, the English dub has been having audio issues when you watch the Blu-ray on a surround sound system or even a regular television. A lot of people have been saying that the Blu-ray has muffled issues, uh, like the sound kind of sounds like this, you know, Elfin Lee on Blu-ray, like the, like the voices and the sound effects are kind of like this, like there's something over it. It's kind of like, kind of muffled, you know what I'm saying, kind of muffled. Um, and I have to say that they are correct. The Blu-ray does have audio issues. It could be due to the fact that the way Sentai encoded it, because my original Elf and Lee box set also has 251 tracks uh, for the uh, Japanese and English versions. Uh, this is the uh, 2006 impact release of Elf and Lee, you know what I'm saying. So. Now, I did a audio test on my surround sound system. Now, I don't have a $500 surround sound system. That's just about 200 bucks. But when I watch the DVDs, I will say that the audio quality on the DVDs do sound louder and more definitive on the DVDs than it does when I watch the Blu-ray on my surround sound. Uh, so that pretty much confirms that, yes, ADV, AKA Sentai, they fucked up encoding uh, the Elf and Lee Blu-ray. Now the video quality is pretty damn good for a uh, Blu-ray release. It is an upscale, but the upscale quality is pretty decent. I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. It's pretty decent for an upscale of a digital anime series in that time frame. For as far as the uh, video quality, uh, video was pretty good. Great compression and etc. No artifacting that I have seen, so it's pretty good. The audio quality is the main issue. A lot of it has been asking me about. Asking on the forum, trying to figure some shit out. Now, uh, <clears throat> it could be due to the fact that Sentai uses DTS HD Master Audio. I have noticed that with uh, some Sentai Blu-rays, their audio is a little weird. My Ninja Scroll uh, Blu-ray has some kind of weird audio issue, uh, and my Monarch Scramble actually sounds pretty good. So it could be because of maybe they you know, botch the encode on certain uh, Blu-ray discs that they author. You know what I'm saying? The authoring is pretty, you know, bad as far as the audio quality. Now, check this out. Uh, you can hear the dub on, like, your regular TV speakers, and you can hear it on your surround sound. It just has a, you know, muffled, kind of tinny, fucked up, you know, sound a little bit. Um, I would say this, though. The OVA has been dubbed. Uh, the OVA doesn't have this issue like at all. Like the, the uh, mastering for the OVA or the encoding or authoring for the OVA, the dub version and Japanese sound loud and clear and definitive. And the Japanese track, if I didn't say this earlier, sounds loud. There's nothing wrong with the Japanese track on these uh, Blu-rays. The issue with the Elf and Lead Blu-ray is the English Dub 5.1 audio. It sounds muffled, the mids and lows are fucked up and kind of everywhere. And just kind of have like this type of feeling, boom, 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 boom. Pew, pew, pew. Sound effects kind of sound like that. The voice kind of sound like, you know, hey, what's going on? And new, new, and shit like that. It sounds kind of like that. Now, I found a solution, though. 
Now I have a, uh, I'm, I have a picture right here. I have a, a Sony PS3 uh, 5.1 virtual surround sound headset. Now check this out. When I put on that headset, it has the same fucking you know crappy you know muffled audio, right? But when I turn on the virtual surround sound, it fixes the fucking problem. It's like I was just astounded by it. It made the voices loud, the sound effects and the music mixed well together. I was like. It's fixed, you know. You can, it's like you only can watch it, you know, properly if you have this PS3, if you have PS3 as your Blu-ray player and this headset or the, new, uh, or the newer headset that has the same feature. You turn on the virtual surround and it pretty much solves the fucking problem. And I'm like, so I have to wear my headset to watch this Blu-ray? Blu-rays are meant for surround sounds. Sentai, get it together. Get it together, man. Get it together. This is ridiculous, you know. I should have watched this when I first bought it. But, you know, I have a whole lot of anime and backlog and shit like that. Uh, anyway, I did watch about four episodes and I tested it out. It only sounds good when I watch it with my fucking headset. When I watch it on my TV or when I turn on my surround sound, I got to turn it up very loud just to hear the fucking dialogue. Um, so, pretty much overall... Um, that, you know, answers you guys' questions about the Elfin Lee Blu-ray, a definitive review about the Blu-ray copy. It is worth an upgrade for the video quality alone because the DVDs are kind of compressed pretty bad, but not too bad. But uh, until Sentai reissues this or re-release it with a better end code, um, it's up to you. It's like, you can hear and watch the show in, in, in a dub form. It's just going to be a little tinny and kind of muffled. Bottom line is, I give it a 7 uh, overall for the Elfin League Blu-ray. Um, I can still watch the show in dub and Japanese, it just has its audio issues. Uh, like I said, the PS3 headset eliminates the issue altogether, kind of weird, and that pretty much also lets me know that they did do a bad job encoding the audio on this fucking Blu-ray disc. Bottom line is, if you want to pick it up, pick it up. If you don't, then you don't. Just get a DVD set um, for the OVA alone and, you know, better mastering, I guess, for the far as your video quality. Anyway, I'm B Dub, the Anime Master. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And that was my review for Elfin Lead on Blu-ray. That's pretty much it. Peace. Dragon Ball Z, the Anime One Master. Piece. Here we go, the Anime Death Master. Knows, nigga. Dragon Ball Z, the Anime One Master. Piece. Here we go, the anime.